And finally, a five-year-old from Pontypool is hoping for something a little unusual for Christmas. Sponsorship, which will help him in his ambition to come become Formula One's first deaf racing driver. Caleb McDuff already spends every minute possible at his local karting track and is making huge progress in his bid to be the next Lewis Hamilton. Sarah Hibbard reports. Little Caleb McDuff became deaf when he was only two and a half years old after a series of ear infections. It was a diagnosis which shocked his family. At, at the time, it, it felt like it's willed and ended sort of thing, you know, that he, he wouldn't be able to do the things that kids want to do. But his dad wanted to find something that Caleb could do in spite of his hearing loss. So when he was four years old, he bought him a motorised go-kart. Um, he had to have a, a lot of uh, foam padding behind him in his seat. Uh, we had to wind the, the pedals right the way back so we could reach him. Uh, so yeah, it was a bit of a sight and he could barely see over the steering wheel as well. So. <laughs> Caleb loves it and regularly voices around this track near Pontypool. His parents have learned sign language to communicate with him. So who's faster, you or your dad? Caleb. <laughs> Do you like racing your dad? Daddy crashed in this. Daddy crashed. Come on. When he's in the driving seat, Caleb is in complete silence as he cannot wear the sound processors that help him to hear. It just means he's got to focus a, a lot more. He's, he's got to use, rely on his eyes a lot more. and. Um, Spatial awareness, he's, he's got to know where everybody is um, all the time, um, and, and he does a really good job. Here's another young driver who started racing early in life, Lewis Hamilton. Caleb's dad hopes if he finds the right sponsorship, Caleb too could follow such a dream. In the meantime, Caleb is just happy burning rubber. Sarah Hibbard, ITV News in Pontypool. Isn't he good? The ITV News continues now with Alistair Stewart and Julie Etching.